image-based light properties. So this simulates lighting in a scene uh, based on an image. These images are high dynamic range images, an HDRI, and they simulate lighting and reflection effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to create, and we're going to go to lights, and we're going to go to image based. And right away it throws in an image based. You can see here it is selected an image base. Just for uh, simplicity, I'm going to go over and delete now that there's more than one light. I can delete that light. And here is what this image based light looks like. All right. So down when I select on this image based light, I can control the intensity of the light. I can walk it to the camera. And this means when the camera is rotated or tumbled, the light effects change relative to the model surface. I can show the grips. So if I come zoom out and click on show grips, you can see here I have the grips of this light. And I can come in here and change where I want to see the light, the direction of the light. Okay, so you have pretty much have to have the grips on in order to do that. Now by default, it's going to throw in here the image based light file is going to be the Mudbox 3 point default. So when I click on this ellipse button over here and I go to textures, I click in textures and I go to light probes. I have others here that I can pick from. So I can pick like an overcast, to simulate an overcast day. And you can see the changes there on an overcast day. I can click on here and say, oh, I want to go to a morning beach type of a light. And you can see the morning beach. And so we have these different types of lighting. I can go with a gallery. This is good if we have a sculpture or something like that. So we have these different types of image-based files that I can use. I can go on Paris in the evening, all right? And so these are just simulating our realistic lighting with reflection effects. So I can go with something like Horizon. All right. So this image-based system here is just another way we can replicate lights and our um, reflection issues. And we can control the grips and control the direction of that lighting and we can control the intensity of that lighting. So we can use this along with other lights such as point lights and directional lights as well. All right, so this is image-based light properties.